change machine spits out fifteen dollars in coins. Great. They say into your eyes. Thank you. How are you? Very good. You? Yep. Where is the microphone from? <laughs> is this is for camera? Or? Yeah, it's for vlogging. I just met this interesting flight attendant and I broke my suitcase. Oh. I know, so sad. <laughs> I'll come find you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, are you? Good, good. And in that it's my favorite suitcase. Oh, I'm serious. Is it just me or is everyone super friendly on this flight? And in that And in that you want to say something? What did you get? YouTube channel uh, as filmed by Lorena, Lorena, and Lydia. Hi, how was your flight? How was your experience? First time on Emirates, actually. And it's been cool. Everyone is very nice. Everyone's very kind. Lydia, where are you from? Poland. Poland. Croatia. Such an eclectic, eclectic group here. And you're from? The United States. California. Whereabouts? San Diego. Which was. Which no, is no. which is her favorite spot, isn't that yes, right? Yes, my yeah. favorite spot. Nice meeting you. Oh my God. Fly with Emirates, huh? Fly with Emirates, right? Sponsorship plug. Emirates. I'm here for sponsorship content. And it just got to Dubai. It was like a four hour flight here, and then I have like a four hour labor, and then I have a direct flight from here to Taipei. Why is everything like so yellow on the screen? Does it look yellow to you? What do I do here in this airport? Is this like a five star airport? Like the thing, like with like the ski mountain thing? Can we do that here? If there was ever extreme direct contrast to the airport I was just at, this place would be it. It's like a freaking palace. The thing is, they, they go down and they come out. Oh my God. Has anyone ever seen that before? And it's cute. And it's cute. This is the most majestic airport I've been in in my life. There's a Gucci store here. It's got Chinese tourists buying stuff. Danelle store. Hermes. Protein powder. I can't even buy protein powder in Taiwan. At a Hugo Boss. At a Hugo Boss store. I have a four hour layover here. I'm not even mad. I think what I need to do is just adjust my standards because they're I think they're a little too low right now. I need to kind of need kind of raise my standards a little bit. So from now on, every other airport I go to, I will compare to the Dubai airport and uh, probably immediately be disappointed. And in because of the time zone shift, I'm, uh, my schedule's a little goofy. So I, I left Istanbul at 8 p.m. and right now it's 2 a.m. in Dubai, actually 7 a.m. in Taipei. So you always wanna like stay on the sleep schedule of the place you're going to. So my flight's like nine hours, I think, and I arrive in Taipei at like five or six. So if I can stay up that entire time, then when I land in Taipei, I can take a sleepy time happy pill and I'll just crash for like 12 hours or something. So of course that means that I need coffee. Mocha frappe with an extra shot of espresso. And did you know that McDonald's in Dubai will give you a free adapter plug thingy? This thing. Thank you McDonald's in Dubai airport. I appreciate your service. Actually, that's a stupid idea. I'm gonna get on the plane. I'm gonna take a sleep aid. I'll wake up at 4 p.m. when the flight lands. Um, that coffee and espresso, uh, did absolutely nothing. Oh, all right. Me how y'all. This is the face of no sleep. Back in Taiwan, first thoughts. I think still looks a little yellow. I don't know what's going on with that. It's hard for me to say if I'm excited to be back. My home's here, my life's here, but I'm feeling restless like I need a change. And it I need to take the metro and go home. I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit.
by a little bit, I mean actually two months later. It's April 20th right now. I got a haircut, I shaved my scruff, but then I grew the scruff out again. So it's been two months since I flew back here to Taipei. I've kind of gotten settled, I've gotten into a routine, I found a job, I'm kind of like more stable. This is the end of that little section of kind of travel vlogginess. So I've been putting up YouTube videos for about five months now and I've thoroughly enjoyed the process. I've done how-to videos, pure travel vlog. I tried one all in Chinese. I've been kind of just trying to find my niche, find my target, what viewer I should be making the videos for, which I think I've kind of found. So this will be the last of like this kind of video, at least for a little while. I'm planning on taking the channel in a new, more specific direction. I'm super excited. Pretty sure everyone who's subscribed to the channel right now, you guys, I think you guys will all like and enjoy the direction the channel is going to go uh, henceforth. I'll give you a hint, it's going to be focused on running and athletics and stuff a little bit more than it has been. So without further ado, click here and I'll briefly introduce the new direction I'm going to take the channel. Alright? I'll see you guys on the other side.